Okay, uh, I've read the first uh, 62 pages of this. Uh, it's uh, middle class stupid. And I can clearly say that I am not part of the middle class. I've made some notes on the inner pages. After looking about at a bunch of charts and graphs, I could see that there was a, a wide separation between the middle class, or what's left of the middle class, and the rich people. And that seemed to have began in the 70s, roughly. Uh, there seemed to have been quite a long run up until the 70s, where everybody was really on the same trajectory, the upper 1% was on a pretty similar trajectory to the uh, the middle class as well as kind of the lower class as people are rushing to get factories uh, set up and, and business running. Um, the World War II effect and the nuclear age and the fear of the Soviet Union probably had a lot to uh, do with uh, the motivations behind people uh, rushing to, to create a lot of industry for the economy but uh, yeah it started changing in the, the 70s and um, they they they, um, they don't really say why but there 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 did a lot of interviews with people and a lot of people still believe in the American dream like well over half maybe like 60 70 percent they said uh, believe in the American dream which is the, the white picket fence and family and, and having a stable job and then retirement and medical and all that. I don't, I don't really buy the American dream. I, I, want, I want more of the dream before the American dream. Um, but that's even more remote. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, the farmer life, the, the type of life that my great-grandparents only knew. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a neat little quote in here I thought was uh, interesting. You, and I'll be reading this backwards. You know, I want to tell you this. If a criminal has a right to a lawyer, why doesn't a working person have a right to health care? Okay, I thought that was a great question. Um, it's like... If, if, a crim if a person commits a crime, gets in trouble and stuff, they get a lawyer. But it isn't exactly easy to get a lawyer. Um, I heard that on murder cases, uh, the most uh, uh, defendants will, will get for, for uh, lawyer time is like four hours or something. Just the lawyer has to spend a little bit of time on the, uh, the, the investigation parts, but... Uh, they, they tend not to, you know, when it's free, it tend not to be really a good job. All right, yeah, I'm, I've, yeah, I, I believe that it's the American dream has been battered. Okay, it's, it's like our expectations have to be lowered, um, and that's that's a something that they found a correlation was is there's more divorces, divorces are going up for poor people in relation to um, just a uh, uh, bigger struggle economically. I mean, I, I couldn't get into a, a relationship as a homeless person. As it just doesn't make any sense. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's like if you're, not, if you're not productive economically, you can't, you can't be productive uh, in a relationship. But, I mean, people still, what really bothers me is that people still believe in this American dream, and I don't, I don't buy it. It's, I think a lot has to change uh, away from the American dream. I mean, if, if the American dream, yeah, okay, it's, it's with a white picket fence and having a, a stable home and a, and a steady job and a place to retire and all that. Um, a lot of laws and regulations really enforce that. I think that dream is a little more enforced and and sold a little too hard, like like drugs being pushed on people. I don't I don't buy it. I I'd rather see more deregulation. But then people say that Bush has has uh, embraced deregulation and deregulated uh, investments in the economy and all that, so so rich people can get ahead. 
So I, I don't know what to believe exactly.